Prince William has signaled an acceptance that the scope of the royal family has shrunk, according to a royal expert. Prince William's speech closing the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's recent tour of the Caribbean has been hailed by royal expert Omid Scobie as a historical moment. Mr Scobie has argued that William's remarks on the future of the Commonwealth signalled an admitting of defeat regarding the future scope of the royal family. Omid Scobie told the Royal Report podcast, it was him, putting his hands up and accepting the current situation was that the sentiment towards the royal family and that place within society across the Commonwealth realm is losing its purpose or its value. I think his end of tour statement was a historical moment in the way because it shrunk the reach of the reign of the British monarch for forever. I think that this was William really admitting defeat. I think that we'll probably see Charles be the last or the third and last royal to head the Commonwealth and things will look very different beyond that. Ending their trip to Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas earlier this month, the future king acknowledged the monarchy's days in those nations may be numbered as he stated the future is for the people to decide upon. In a statement reflecting on the tour, William also emphasized who the Commonwealth chooses to be its leader isn't what is on my mind, but what concerned him was its potential to create a better future for the people who form it. He stressed that he and his wife Kate were committed to service and saw their role as supporting people, not telling them what to do. William is said to have had a meeting with aides following backlash from his and the Duchess of Cambridge's Caribbean tour. The Duke of Cambridge reportedly plans to use only half the staff his father the Prince of Wales has, and wants to end the long-standing royal tradition of never complain, never explain. A number of newspaper reports on Monday carried comments from sources suggesting William had been doing a lot of thinking about how long-held protocols can be modernized when he ascends the throne. Changes could include halving staff when he becomes the Prince of Wales, and ending the policy of never complain, never explain, the newspapers reported. William's statement might be interpreted as a response to days of criticism the couple faced during their eight-day tour, from accusations that Belize locals were not consulted about a royal engagement to calls for slavery reparations in Jamaica. The couple were also accused of being tone deaf after they were seen shaking hands with crowds behind a wire mesh fence in Kingston, and images of the pair riding in the back of a Land Rover were denounced as harking back to colonial days. Media coverage of the tour has been split, with some emphasizing the positive impact of their presence in the Caribbean. Others have described the fence photograph as a PR disaster. Barbados replaced the Queen as head of state in November, and elected its first president during a ceremony witnessed by the Prince of Wales, 